welcome back to the Zach and Buzz Reviews. Review. So the second trailer for the Doctor Who it season has. one has just dropped. dropped. <laughs> and what do we think? Well, it was actually quite interesting because the, the, the overall, I wanted to see something new that we hadn't seen before, and okay. primarily it seemed to rehash a lot seen. of what we've already seen. Yeah, not in a negative way. Mm. We've kind of just seen. Some bits were the same, like him coming to Unit HQ. Mm -hmm. uh, then we've seen some little extended, yeah, little extended bits yeah, of him yeah, at yeah, Unit was... HQ, but not a lot. Couple lots, of like... lots more of the period costumes. Yes, specifically that. Yeah, yes. period costumes. Uh, we've seen the. They must be doing a musical number. Yeah, they yeah like with they the got, Beatles. Yeah, uh, they got a kind of a musical number going, <laughs> which is kind of I don't know. It kind of threw at me. Uh, the 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 Marvels vibe, yeah, because they like the oh, Marvels yeah. go to okay. a planet where they just sing all the time. Because that's the thing with Doctor Who; it's not you don't really ever have like a musical number. I believe it must be something they've chosen to introduce to kind of lend yeah. itself to that light-hearted nature yeah. of this series. I wouldn't quite see uh, John Pertwee, for example, you know, doing the like fantastic. Yeah, it's doing it's that. a new angle, and I'm not entirely sure how I feel about that particular mm. angle yet. Yeah. I want to see how it lands. Yeah, how it lands, exactly. No criticism yet, mm. because it'd be far too early to put any kind of mm. criticism in. Mm. We know there's a lot of naysayers out there about the new Who, you know, and shooty and everything. That's not us. Give them a chance. Give them a chance, Come give on. the writers a chance. But, as we said in the last uh, review of mm. the first trailer, yeah. Is it's what we don't see? I think that tell... is probably the most interesting. Yeah, that's part. the most interesting because what we don't see are things like these guys. These guys. There's no references to any kind of classic, long established classic, classic foes, villains. You know? like Cybermen, Daleks, Sontarans. Yeah. It kind of didn't end at any point with just a voice of Davros or something like that, you know, mm. or or just a Dalek eye lighting up. Yeah, know? yeah. There, there was, was no nothing alluding to there, that. There is all. nothing apart from probably the TARDIS itself mm -hmm. and the new Doctor mm. that says Doctor Who. Yeah. Yeah. Or, of course, unit. You know. I suppose, yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, the only, from, from what we have seen, the only speculation I can have as to something old coming into it Look up, cool. has got to be the dinosaur stuff it's got to be the Ouch. almost yes. silurian yeah, but connection. we didn't see we saw no none of that in the, this new trailer did we no no however exactly. what, what also dropped i didn't i don't know if you know what the episode titles well all of them yep oh i'm, I'm getting i'm getting jonesy you're sticking your claws in me you big monster he's a, he's are a, you a doctor who villain he's a big cat this one uh, may, maybe he's a uh, flirking. Oh no, we did talk about that. Well, anyway, anyway, okay. okay. So you don't know any of these, do you? I so, know episode two is the Devil's so, Court. So this is straight away. The names of the episodes have dropped. Let's see what your reaction is. Okay. 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 Oh, thank you, Josie. <laughs> okay. Episode one is Space Babies, written by Russell T. Uh, Davis. So hang on, hang on. And hang directed hang on. by Julie <laughs> Ann Robinson. Space, space babies. Well, we saw the babies in in a sort of all seated. Yeah, that was it. It wasn't it because didn't one of them talk? It was like, oh, it's you. <laughs> what, could that, you? what could that be a reference to? I'm not sure. Anyway, number two, The Devil's Cord. Yeah. Written by Russell T. Davis. Okay, directed by yeah. Ben Chessel. Okay. Okay. Number three. You ready for this? Yeah. Boom. 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 Boom, boom. No, it's not an episode. So it's, it's just called. Heather. It's just called boom. boom. Written by Stephen Moffat. So ah, okay. Directed Spe by Julianne Robinson. So speculation so there. Boom. Be that could be the kind of desolate London we see, kind of like after like some kind of maybe like okay. world-ending okay. okay. event. Okay. Well, that's the first one uh, from Stephen Moffat. Okay, number four. Mm -hmm. Seventy-three yards. Written by Russell T. Davies, directed by Dylan Holmes Williams. 73 yards. 73 yards. What could that be about? I don't know. Well, I know, won't we? Hmm. Episode 5 Dot and Bubble. Crikey, these are very flowery names, aren't yeah. they? Dot and Bubble. Could that refer to two people's names? Somebody called Dot and somebody called Bubble? Dot and Bubble? Dot and Bubble. Dot. I don't know. Written by Russell T. Davies, directed by Dylan Holmes Williams. 
Yeah. Episode six, a more traditional kind of episode name. Good, come on. Rogue. Okay, that sounds a bit better. Rogue, written by Kate Heron. Okay. Oh, and by um, Bryony Redman. Okay. So it's, a, it's a two writers on that one, mm-hmm. and directed by Ben Chessel. Okay. Okay. So Rogue. That's an interesting one. I'm looking forward to that one. Um, number seven, The Legend of Ruby Sunday. I reckon. Do you reckon that's the one where he's in his striped suit? The nineteen sixties one. Oh. The Legend of Ruby Sunday. Or is that going to be the Beatles one? I don't know. Well, that would be sixties, wouldn't it? Okay. Yeah. Well, I think the the Beatles one is the Devil's Court, I believe. Ah. Uh, oh, we, well, we did actually get to see um, Jinx Monsoon. She actually said. She said something. She yeah. said something. You know. So. Again, I. Don't re- you can't really tell. Okay, the what final one, be episode up, eight. Like one so now line. you know all these are. Okay, episode eight, Empire of Death. Now that is definitely a Doctor Who title. That one. Now that sounds a lot more traditional. That's like City of Death. Yeah. You know, Empire with the, with the, of the with the, with the Jaggeroth. This is yeah. Empire of Death. Maybe the Jaggeroth are going to make a return visit. I think go that... from city to a complete empire. <laughs> I think. I think that's going to be a bit of a stretch. Okay. Written by honest. Russell T. Davis, directed by Jamie Donahue. So there you go. That's so eight. that's the lot. That's the lot. Eight, okay. eight episodes. Eight episodes. I'm okay. assuming none of that's the Christmas special. Yeah, it's just the eight episodes. Yeah, yeah, it's just yeah. the standard season. Ooh, where's me Sonic? There it is. <laughs> so a lot of those titles seem to be very much in the kind of style it seems to be going for. Kind of this more kind of light-hearted almost mm. kind of yeah. I mean, there's a lot of light colourfulness. Give me some loving. Uh, let's have a sing and song and a dance. Mm. Um, but then you've got things that like starkly con- contrast that with that that freaky spaceship with yeah, that the tear, the tear. Yeah, like a spaceship where it's like this crazy like angry monster. That obviously, oh, yeah. like it's very dark. Very dark. And then you've got the. Um, what I assume is the Stephen Moffat one, Boom being the desolate, desolate post-apocalyptic, post-apocalyptic world that seems to very like contrast this kind of mm. happy-go-lucky. Yep. So style. anyway, when does all this hit? May. May. First two episodes, May the eleventh. May the eleventh. I think you recall you saying that it drops first on uh, Disney, Disney Plus, yeah. and then onto iPlayer. Mm-hmm. So there we go. So that's our initial uh, breakdown of the Trade second two. trailer. Yes. Yeah, yes. Trailer two. So, are you excited? Well, of course I'm excited. Mm-hmm. We're Doctor Who fans, of course that's we're true, excited. You know? I'm interested to see where it goes. I want to see where it I goes. I want to see how it He lands. did make one reference, though, before we disappear. He did say he's got no family or anything anymore. Okay. You know? But technically, he's still got the other Doctor, which is his doppelganger, him. True. You know? so, yeah. uh, so And uh, because he's got the TARDIS, you know, like, for example, we've had the five Doctors... Mm-hmm. And they all get time scooped to Gallifrey. Mm-hmm. Surely the Doctor can just go and visit Gallifrey at any sort of time in history. I mean, so <laughs> yeah, it depends on which way you want to look at it. Anyway, anyway, so that was the review for our second trailer. second trailer of the Doctor new Who, series, which looks fun, and we we're shall looking see forward to it. If you've got any any any, if, any any views, anything you can enlighten us about. Yeah, maybe maybe our our viewing of the trailer was completely wrong. Yeah, I, I, if it was, let us know. You might have spotted things that we've missed, exactly, or interpreted things different to yeah, us. There wasn't there like a landmine as well. Yeah, it was kind of that. So when that, you saw the foot going on the landmine, mm-hmm. I immediately thought uh, Genesis. Genesis of the Daleks. Mm-hmm. Yeah, or like I'm going to turn this battlefield into, into dust. A, yes, like in an instant. That's quite a dramatic line. Yeah. I can't I quite really want see, to see how the, that's gonna. Maybe, could that, be interesting. maybe that's in Boom. We shall see. There we are. Anyway, there we go. If you enjoyed this review, please like and subscribe to this channel and comment below any suggestions for further reviews you'd like to see. See you in the next one.